Kyle, uh, it's been a good year for you overall. You've kind of been in a variety of different roles from the start of the year till now. How would you assess the full body of work? I know we still got a, a month left, but to this point in the year, how would you assess how you've thrown? Yeah, I'd say I'm happy with the body of work as a whole. You know, we like you said, we got a month left, so got to keep it locked in and finish strong. You know, it's this is a what have you done for me lately league, and um, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. So I'm happy with what I've done, but um, I'm still pushing and working to, to finish strong here at the end of the year. You and I have talked about your fastball usage and leaning more heavily on that pitch. It seems like the velocity with that fastball has ticked up over the course of the last couple of years. Is there anything to that? Like what, what has led into the high 90s, sometimes 100 of late? Yeah, I think it's just constant improvements. Um, you know, figuring out things with my body and my preparation that, you know, I feel I'm feeling really good every day. And when you feel good, you can, you know, kind of push push the effort level a little bit. Um, and obviously throwing it more. I think you ask anybody, the more you throw your fastball, the more feel you get for it and the, the more you can add on to it. So um, I think that's led to the to the little velocity bump. But my off speed has been feeling a lot better lately. And, I, you know, I'm going to make it a point to mix it in a little more. So this is now your third year in the major leagues. How at this point do you feel like you've come to understand the way to attack major league hitters with the information that you're given from the analytics crew, with knowing hitters yourself, facing them a bunch or seeing them a bunch, and knowing yourself and how all of that ties together? Yeah, I mean, for me, I think pitching inside in this league is, is huge with the fastball. you got to be able to, to keep hitters honest. You can't let them lean over the plate on you because you know they're already really good and when you when you give them any type of advantage it's you know just making your job that much harder so got to keep them honest with the fastball inside and um, just kind of take take each pitch for what it is if you if you're trying to execute one location and you miss to another location you know use use that miss to your advantage on the next pitch and um, I think you know that's something that uh, myself and, and Kiebert and Barrera and, and Riley have been able to do. Kyle, uh, you were just telling me you've got like 20 something, 15 family members, friends that are going to be in attendance. You got a lot of family that's from Long Island. You've put up good numbers career against the Mets. What's it like for you to pitch in this yard and feel the support from so many people here? It's cool. It's really cool. I got to I got to see them after the game yesterday and they came on the field and watched the fireworks. So it's just just little things like that are, are really special moments. Um, and to be able to have success in front of them is, is, a, is a big plus. Um, you know, that's the name of the game. And you know, it can be hard when you have all that outside noise going on, uh, staying focused for the game. So um, I think that's something I've gotten better at is, is, you know, trust that they'll they'll be able to get to the park on their, you know, they're, they're grown ups and they can handle it and uh, try and focus on the game as much as possible. Kyle, you guys will be facing your former teammate tonight, Max Scherzer. You will not be facing him in the batter's box, thankfully. Uh, you know, this, this sport, you're going to see guys come and go, but he meant so much to the Nats organization. You got to know him over the last couple of years. What's it like now for you guys? I know what it's like for us and for the fans to see him in a different uni. What's it like for you guys to see him in a Mets uniform and have your team face him? You, you know what you're going to get from him. I mean, he's he's the ultra competitor, and you can appreciate that from the other side. We, I appreciated it being his teammate, and now seeing it on the other side, it's the, I mean, he's just he's a menace out there. And they had his stats up on the scoreboard a second ago. He's he's got 22 walks on the year, like over well over 100 innings. It's just, he just bullies the strike zone. I mean, he's somebody that I re would really like to pitch how he pitches you know he's he's in the he beats you in the strike zone which um, is the name of the game and, and he's mastered that over his career one more question about their guys and then I'll get back to your guys to wrap it up Edwin Diaz is having a phenomenal year and the, you know they've made his walk out of the bullpen uh, theater up here at City Field with the Timmy Trump and all that stuff you don't want to see him on the mound here over the course of this series but can you appreciate what whether it's him, whether it's any other, you know, lights out closer, what type of an experience that can be watching them pitch and having the type of success that he and some others have had? Right. You've, there's been a few of those over the years that kind of, you know, the excitement just takes off. And, and that's been the case for Diaz this year. And he's having an unbelievable year. And like you said, the, the theatrics of his entrance, I mean, it, it can be intimidating to the other team. And, you know, he's kind of become associated with when you hear that music you know it's it might be over so watching it from the other side you know we we want to be able to get him uh 
but you can appreciate the work that he's done and, and how difficult his job is and how well he's been able to execute. Last guess question, Kyle. You, your bullpen overall this year has been phenomenal. You've had some guys come and go, but the, the numbers collectively, especially over the last couple months, are really good, and it seems like guys are trusting themselves a lot more, whether it's Hunter Harvey, whether it's Mason Thompson coming back up, you, Tanner, when he was healthy. What, how would you evaluate the collective confidence that your bullpen has as a group? I think we've been able to build off each other's performances and you know we're having our own inner competitions down there like oh I got I have this many scoreless I'm, I'm gonna catch up to you you know so that's those little competitions within the season are what really kind of snowballs the success and uh, you know we've had some incredible performances down there this year and we're looking to finish strong this last month and and uh, see who gets the, the longest scoreless streak. Kyle thanks for the time buddy. Yeah thank you.